Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be talking about making classes and objects in C++. So I guess before we start, we should probably discuss why classes and objects are useful in programming. And assuming you haven't watched the Python video. So classes can basically allow you to make your own data types. So for example, we have the int data type, right? So it's basically a type of class and making and you can make your own classes in C++ so that you can make your own objects using that data type. Doing so is actually useful because let's say you want custom properties that you want to store in an object that you want to that you can then use in a variable in other parts of your program. Well, you can do that with classes and it also reduces code redundancy and removes the need of making a I guess a strange setup for manipulating a bunch of variables using a list or that something like that because the class is technically a list accessible through one variable. So how do you make a class in C++? Well, if you watched my Python video, then you'd know that we need the class name followed by the variables that you need and then the methods that you use along with the constructor. It's the same thing in C++. In fact, it's pretty much the same thing in any language. The only thing that changes is how that is structured. So to make a class, you type class followed by class name. I'll just name it as class. And then a pair of brackets. And inside, you have to type public, which the, and after that, you'll need to enter like the types of variables that you want to enter. So let's just type int var. Let's just have that as the only variable in this test class. Next is the constructor. Well, as you can see, the, the editor is suggesting me a thing, but if I type that, this is basically a constructor. So what happens is if you call this to make a object, it will set up the variable and initialize the object so you can then use it later on. Now, one thing to note is that you can have more than one constructor actually. If I type test class and then just put a pair of empty open brackets, and then a pair of curly brackets after that, and then type var equals zero. There it is, that's your default constructor. By default, when you make a class in C++, this constructor will technically be there, but it's usual practice to have one anyway. One thing you may have noticed is that when it created the, when Replit created this other constructor, it added a this word in front of the var variable. This is known as the this keyword. The this keyword is basically responsible for telling which variable actually belongs to this particular class and which variable isn't. So you may notice that inside the constructor, we actually have int var as the input. And we already have int var when we were uh, defining the class in the first place. We can use both of them in the same expression so long as we specify the this keyword for the first var. So it will be basically like when you call this constructor, this var variable from this class should be assigned to the var variable that will be specified by the user when the constructor is called. Now you don't need to have this. You can remove the this keyword and then use a different variable uh, in the constructor. But for now, I'm just gonna have it as this keyword to prove a point. Now, of course, a class can also have methods so that you can call and do stuff with it. Usually classes have setters and getters. Setters will set values to variables and getters retrieve values from variables. So let's say I want to make a function called setbar. Well, first I have to type void because it's not gonna do anything. It's just going to set value, wait set var. And then you can see it's uh, providing me a value right now. I can just do 
that int var and then brackets and then as it is again suggesting for some reason you can specify this hyphen caret symbol var equals var so this is again another use of the this keyword now to make a getter function you just type well again void get var and var actually you would type int get var and var a pair of brackets and then you return this arrow var most classes also have what's known as a print function so if you type like the object name dot print it will well print a value we can make that as well so type void print uh, brackets and then that and then you just type c out pair of angle brackets and then type this arrow var that's pretty much it now there is one extra function that i would like to mention and it's something that i would recommend you make so you type curly brace so this is the key that is next to the one key on your keyboard and then you type test class and yeah that's it so this is all i want to write what does this do well this is known as the destructor so in c plus plus you have to actually manually manage your own memory it doesn't do it uh, automatically unlike other languages such as python or java and because of that when you make a class you're going to have to make the destructor as well it's nothing really complicated it's just this you can maybe put like a print statement saying that destructor was called but you don't really need to you can also define a function inside the class and then initialize it later outside the class so let's say I want to make a function void outside defined. Very good name. And then outside the class, I'll just type void test class two colons outside defined round brackets and then the pair of curly brackets. And here I'm just going to put the out outside defined uh, because it's not really going to do it. So this is how you would define a class a method outside of the class if you ever need to do that. Note that I'm defining this outside of any other class, such as like outside of the main class. That's kind of a requirement when you do this. So then we have our test class. How do you use it? Well, that's very easy. Just like how you have int a equals zero, you have, well, pretty much the same structure test class test one let's say and yeah that's it so that is right now calling the default constructor which sets the variable var equal to zero and of course i can take that test one dot set var and put two and then test one dot print i can make another variable test class test two and this time I call the constructor and let's say I want to specify the number three to be initialized at the beginning and then I can now print that so now this second example is calling the other constructor that we have specified here so now if we run this there you go so it printed two from the first variable and three from the second variable so this is how you make classes and objects in c plus plus thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed it